Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. Today I'm coming to you guys with a eyebrow tutorial, finally. So let's get started. First things first, I always prime my eyebrows so that they stay on all day long. So I just apply this Too Faced Shadow Insurance with my fingers and then I set it with some banana powder on top so that my eyebrows apply flawlessly. Next, I'm going to um, apply my Mega Clear Gloss to my eyebrows so that they stay in place all day and they're easier to kind of fill in because the they will be in the shape that I want them to be. So I'm just gonna brush them up with that. And then I'm gonna fan it so that it's dry because it's easier to do your brows that way when it's dry. Now I'm gonna use my brow brush um, and compared to this other brush, this MAC brush, this brush is so much thinner and it makes your eyebrows look so much better. So get a really, really thin angled brush. I'm going to use my Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia. This is in the color Ebony. I love this stuff. I'm going to warm this up on the back of my hand using that brow brush. And this just takes away the excess product as well as warms up the product so that it's easier to apply. So if you're using a pomade, warm it up on the back of your hand first. So now I'm going to use that angled brush and the product that I applied from the back of my hand. And I'm going to start at the arch of my eyebrow. And I'm just going to draw a line on the bottom of my brow and then kind of flick it outwards. Then I'm going to go to the top of my eyebrow and draw in my arch. And I just draw it in like so. And I basically make an outline. Then I'm not taking any more product on my brush. I'm just going to fill in that outline that I made. Remember not to add any more product to your brush. Just use what's left on the brush. And I'm just filling in the inner part of my brows. Just making sure there are no sparse hairs or anything. And I'm working my way towards the front. So I do the arch first and then I go towards the front part of my brow because the front part usually is the lightest part of your brow naturally so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna draw a line like I just did right there and I'm gonna turn my brush upwards and make brow hairs in the front so I'm just really mimicking my real brow hairs I don't have that many brow hairs in the front part of my brow so I'm kind of making them so I'm putting my brush um, upwards up and down and then flicking upwards towards the sky to um, make fake brow hairs and you're using a really light hand with this so be really light handed <laughs> so now I'm going to go on with my elf cream liner um, this is in the darkest color and I'm going to dab that same angle brush into that product and like manipulate it on my hand the same way I did the dip brow and what I'm going to do with this is take this along the bottom part of my brow as well as the top and filling in the sparse areas so basically what this does is it makes my brows darker because my hair is always jet black and it gives my brows more definition. So I added a little bit more product to my brush, wiping off the excess, and I'm going to create more brow hairs in the front. As you can see, I'm using a really light hand as well here in this area, but it's a little bit darker, so it looks like real brow hairs. And remember to hold your brush um, towards the end of the uh, brush handle, not towards the barrel of the brush, because it will make you have a like a lighter hand, <laughs> if that makes sense. So now I'm going to dip back into the e.l.f. Uh, product and I'm just adding some more darker hairs to that I did wipe it on my hand again but I'm just honestly just going in there and fixing up little hairs that I forgot to uh, make in there and yeah as you can see is pretty self-explanatory I think <laughs> but I'm just making really focusing right now in the front of my brow the beginning part of my brow so as you can see it looks like there's brow hairs there when there's really not brow hairs there so yeah, now I'm just going to go along the edge of the brow um, just to make it more sharp looking and just creating more hairs towards the front. Really, you just want to make sure your brow is as perfect as you can get it um, at that point in time because my brows don't always come out like this because they take forever and sometimes I try to rush, but please don't try to rush your brows because they never come out right if you're rushing, so... They are supposed to take forever. Well, most of us. <laughs> so now I'm going to take um, this brow brush, eyebrow brush, and I'm just going to brush my hairs in the direction that I kind of created the fake ones in. 
and that's really it for that and now I'm gonna use my NYX HD concealer this is very optional um, I use this just to clean up the areas where I messed up today actually I really didn't need it but I'm doing it for the sake of the tutorial and I'm gonna go in with my real techniques brush and clean up underneath my brow I really like this brush because it's so small and it makes my eyebrows look perfect every time I use it. I've been using this for a really long time and it's the only thing where I can really get really up in there and get like a really sharp line underneath my brow. And I'm just really adding more product and then um, kind of pushing it towards the end of my eyebrow. And then I'm going to take a, another Real Techniques brush after I'm done placing that underneath my eye and blend out the harsh line. And really um this brush is pretty good too because it's a really small blending brush i'll put all the brushes in the description box so make sure you check out the description box for all the products and if you have trouble finding out where your brow should start they should generally start right here towards the sides of your nostrils your arch should be just about right here so the upper part of your brow should um be right there where I'm putting my brush and then the end part of your eyebrow should kind of be where your wing liner would be if it was that long <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that's really it guys thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one and I'll see you next time